And what are our police, what are our sheriffs supposed to do? Say maybe it's a prank? And God forbid it isn't. Senator Chuck Schumer wants harsher penalties for those caught making phony bomb threats. It's known as swatting, and it's on the rise. Someone makes a false call. We've seen these before, but it's on the increase. And it's often done for new reasons. And they call and say there's a bomb threat. There's a hostage situation. Uh, something's the matter. Just last week, the Civic Center was the site of a false bomb threat. That phony threat shut down Onondaga County government and cost taxpayers thousands of dollars. Onondaga County Sheriff Gene Conway says police are forced to take these phony threats seriously. Absolutely. I mean, when someone calls in a complaint that someone is being held hostage or a bomb may go off in a short period of time, we have an urgency. Fake emergency calls have been around for decades, but new technology is making tracing those calls harder than ever. That's because the majority of those calls are now coming in on smartphones or online services like Skype. A new bill introduced by Schumer would make swatting a federal offense and increase the maximum jail time for those convicted from four to eight years. Schumer's bill would also make calling in a threat on the Internet a crime the same as a phone call. And finally, the new bill would force those convicted of making a false threat to pay full restitution for the cost to police for investigating that threat. If it costs the sheriff and police department $40,000 to respond, they're going to have to pay it back. Schumer's proposed crackdown on swatting is working its way through Congress. The senator hopes these stricter penalties will help get the message out that if you get caught making a phony bomb threat, you will pay the price. In Syracuse, Brandon Roth reporting.